The Shadow Ditch Watershed is one of the Tank Lab's primary field sites, and we've been working here since 2007. About 85% of the land cover in the watershed is agricultural, primarily in a corn and soybean rotation. In addition to being primarily agricultural, the hydrology has been largely modified through the use of tile drainage. Tile drains act as point sources of nutrients to the stream and can contribute significantly to downstream water quality issues like eutrophication. There are a total of 79 tile drains in the watershed, which represent a lot of pathways for nutrients to make their way into the stream. At Shadow Ditch, our work has primarily focused on the implementation of two conservation efforts, including cover crops and the two-stage ditch, as potential solutions to our current water quality problems. The Tank Lab first started working at Shadow Ditch in 2007 on the two-stage ditch, which is a modification of the drainage channels and agricultural waterways that increases the floodplain area. This in turn allows for more processing of nutrients and the settling of sediments that travel downstream. We started with only about a half a mile of two-stage at the base of the watershed, but now we're up to about four miles or 75% of the stream length. We're pretty sure it's the longest two-stage in the world. The extension of the floodplain to 75% of the stream length has increased nitrate removal from the watershed by about 27%, and these floodplains also act as a significant sink for phosphorus. In 2014, we expanded our work at Shadow Ditch to explore the implementation of cover crops at a large scale. We worked really closely with farmers to plant cover crops on their fields and ended up with 67% of croppable acres in the watershed planted with annual ryegrass. This was continued all the way through the end of 2019. The watershed scale implementation of cover crops has resulted in reductions of both nitrate and SRP export from the watershed, especially during critical periods like spring storms. We've also found that cover crops buffer the impacts of both very dry and very wet conditions on SRP loss. So I've been talking a lot about these awesome results we've found at Shadow Ditch, but how did we get here? That's where I come in. My name is Shannon and I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Tank Lab and I'm going to take you on a day in the life at Shadow Ditch with myself and my trusty quarantine field hand and partner Zach. After loading up the car, we're ready to get on the road. Shadow is located about one hour south of the Notre Dame campus near Warsaw, Indiana. Along with other Tank Lab members like Brittany Hanrahan and Matt Trentman, I've been coming out to Shadow every two weeks for the last four years. It doesn't matter if it's hot, cold, raining or snowing, the Tank Lab is out at Shadow Ditch. We sample 10 different stream sites and 25 tile drains throughout the watershed for both water quality parameters as well as ancillary variables like temperature, pH, and turbidity. While most of our previous work has focused on nutrients, the other parameter we're really interested in is turbidity in both stream water as well as the tile drains.
Zach, can you tell us what you're doing? Sure. I'm checking the turbidity of the water that came out of the tile drain using a turbidimeter. It's 2.2 NTUs, in case you're wondering. We're not quite done crunching the numbers for the tile drains, but we have seen huge reductions in turbidity in the stream following cover crop implementation, especially during storms. By decreasing the turbidity of the stream, we've relieved light limitation and increased metabolism in the stream. Once we finish sampling the last tile drain at the top of the watershed, we're ready to head back to South Bend. But before we do, we have to make a stop at the turtle pond and see how many turtles we can find. The last time we were out here, we saw over 150 turtles sunning themselves on the logs. About an hour later, we're back in South Bend, ready to unload. Thankfully, we've got a helper waiting at home for us to unload the truck. Thanks for joining us on a trip to the Shattered Ditch Watershed with the Tank Lab. We'll see you next time. Welcome to the Shadow Ditch Watershed. The Tank Lab has been working here since 2007. See, no, start over. You just poured it all over.